Well, it's a touch late, and I'm a touch tired, but I feel like doing a bit more perm tonight, and that is what we'll do. It's Friday after all. Plenty of time, especially since I killed Friday Night Roguelike, and I'm not too exhausted from the DDR either, so it's all working out well. And I'm trying to remember where we were. We left off last time with still a good friendship with Muscovy going for as long as such a thing can last. Eventually they are going to form Russia. I don't think they're going to have any problem doing that. And I had to look up to make sure I was uh, correctly informed about where they're going to get permanent claims on. They get permanent claims on Russia? No problem, I'm not in Russia. They get permanent claims on Crimea? Easy peasy, I just need to avoid that. But they, in addition to that, get permanent claims on Saratov and Bashkiria. Well, I'm not about to surrender Bashkiria anytime, so I'm going to have to accept the fact that sooner or later Muscovy and I shall come to blows. Until then, I need to be gathering up all my strength, because when they come for me, well, they've trashed everyone around them. I don't think I'm going to put up much of a fight in my current state. So in order to reach my final form, I'm going to have to feed Kazak back quite a few of these cores and become the all-powerful perm that I was born to be. The question is, how exactly are we going to go about that? Well, I'm going to want my diplomats back before I figure that one out. And yes, Perm is Tengri, and we're going to be spreading that faith as hard as we can, preferably with a uh, few more missionaries when I get the uh, when I get the religious ideas on the go. So why am I bringing all my troops together? I'm sure I had a great plan when I was starting earlier, but I do not right now. Muscovy have a very non-aggressive Regency Council at the moment, which thankfully for me means that they are not claiming loads of Golden Horde land as their own, so I should make it perfectly clear to them that it is very much my interest land. If I get lucky I'll be able to bag a whole load of it without them getting all up in my face about it, at least not yet. So I'll be thinking about that. I'll be thinking about that a lot. Maybe, just maybe, Muscovy will not uh, make it their desired land when they see that I really desire it. I would quite like Nagai as well, but that's uh, that's to come later. So what are we going to do? I really want to fight Chagatai, but they would bring in their little vassals, and together I imagine they'd get at least 30,000 troops on my case when I can barely field 17. And then there are the Golden Horde, but I can crush the Golden Horde no problem. There is the question of making Golden Horde a co-belligerent, make it a lot cheaper cheaper to grab my uh, land from them. Why would Lithuania get involved? Riddle me that. Well, their independence is guaranteed by Lithuania. Lithuania has a bit of a crushing debt. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. At least not yet. But what I may do with the Golden Horde is force them to annul their treaties with people so that I can stroll in and take their land for myself. I have no doubt I could take them on later. So, how am I going to do this? How indeed. I think we should focus on knocking out that Golden Horde. And I especially want my cores back for Kazakh. That's what I'm going to get on. Jake Muscovy is only at admin 6. You've got time. Indeed I do. And thankfully Boris only has one in admin, whereas we are steaming ahead good old Velikopermski, which I'm told is means of great perm. Uh, he's going to lead the way. To the point where I'm going to make my monarch into a general. Wow, he's good. I might actually use him at that rate. In the hopes that my heir takes the throne sometime soon. Let's jack up that army maintenance and get ready for war. Well, I say we're getting ready for war. In fact, it is good old Muscovy who I feel is going to be doing the heavy lifting here. I want to get all of our units in place for this. Uh, important point is to secure the north. I know that Muscovy don't desire any of it right now, but who knows, they may. We allowed the clergy to get a lot of dominance, so that disaster is going to tick up. I have to keep a lazy eye on it, because I'm going to need to stop it from uh, actually firing. I don't think there's going to be too much problem with that, though. It's a little risky leaving my one stacks up here. It's a little very risky leaving my one stacks up there. I feel that Chagatai would probably stroll over and defeat them without any issue. So maybe we should actually pull you guys back a bit. So, I was thinking whether or not I should bring in Muscovy, but I think I shall. Because if I break Chagatai down in this war, 
then really that's the biggest, strongest foe of mine taken care of for good. I can't see themselves repairing after this. Jake, is there any European power that could help you against Muscovy? Well, Muscovy, if you haven't been following this campaign, Muscovy must have some god mode on. They crushed Novgorod, nothing unusual there. They utterly destroyed Lithuania. They picked a fight with all of Scandinavia and, well, see for yourself there. They have been on a rampage. They started to integrate us, they got all the way up to 99% as I desperately developed to keep myself from being annexed, and I had to go to war and lose four provinces just to uh, remain alive. But alive and thriving we are as Mighty Perm, and we are masters of our own destiny. I really think I could take these jokers on, but no, I'm gonna go the Chagatai route, and I will not take land from Golden Horde, I'll just make them an old treaties so that I can take them on at my leisure. But yes, Muscovy's getting involved. I can't promise them land because they're not interested, and this will indeed be the reconquest of land. Although, what about Irtesh? Irtesh is a claim of ours, but it's no core of Kazakhs. And what a coincidence, we are tasked to conquer Irtesh. Not that that is going to be our casus belli. I think we'll find the most expensive province that they have that we need to reconquer in the name of our vassal. Uh, that fortified province is looking good for that. I do like being able to secure forts for my vassals, as long as they don't tear it down. So we'll make it the reconquest of Karmeg... No, that's a bad idea. If I make it a reconquest of a fortified province, that's just going to take longer to get ticking war score. May as well make it the Shigadeng because then we'll get our ticking war score nice and fast. Help me out there, Muscovy, you're a good guy, right? Let's do it. I'm sure I've forgotten to do things along the lines here, but you can't worry about these kinds of things, so Golden Horde is going to get involved. Don't really care about my low morale, because I am going to utterly crush these guys. May as well make my monarch uh, show the world what he's made of. Can't let Muscovy hog... Uh, all of the fame. Oh, okay, I was expecting to see a Golden Horde army here when I strolled on in. The Golden Horde do certainly have an army of 10,000, but where? I could be forgiven for believing they are down in Astrakhan at this rate, then. Nasty, I'm getting severe winter attrition here. Okay, where in the... Oh, <laughs> well, what a shame for Muscovy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 units, 10 provinces. Jinx, you'd almost think I planned this. Because I do want to knock the Golden Horde out of this uh, fairly swiftly and turn on them later. Preferably when they have no friends. There is a bit of a worry that others will come and attack them due to their lack of friends. But you can't worry about everything all the time. Now let me level with you, Muscovy. I actually want you over there right now. Please hop to it. And with this, I don't want to lose my... Uh, my ruler to a siege, that's always kind of sad. But I would like Saratov to fall on the double, and I want the Muscovites to run over there. And the Muscovites still don't label any Golden Horde land as their desires, I would hope they wouldn't be able to, because then to be breaking the rules if they could. Would however love it if they took care of those nasties inside my vassal. And I need those improved relations as high as they can go, otherwise I'm in trouble. Nothing to it. Jake warns Shervan so they don't go for it. I really wonder if I... Uh... Wow, would you believe it? I have the power to do that. Warn Shervan, huh? Well, I certainly don't want Shervan expanding much anyway since they spread their disgusting increased core creation cost. So I'll have to give that some thought. Right, there's also the issue of who do I convert, when, where, and why. Anywhere that has my clergy on the go is worthwhile, but any anything is also worthwhile. 
Higher development is certainly better, so we'll do that. I need to improve that religious unity, helps drive down the corruption cost. So too would upping that diplomatic tech. I don't quite get the ahead of time bonus, unfortunately. But I will want that global settler increase later. And I don't want them taking out my capital, that would be pretty bad for me. So, uh, oh, I just had a thought. Muscovy might not know about these provinces. I think they would, though. Spread of Discovery has surely gone to them. Surely, he says. Still, they need to step up their game. Muscovy has to not stack everything on Saratov. I uh, believe that is not very useful, so go away, please. And let's not have our general just killing himself on a siege. No, no, not the uh, debased currency event. It's coming because I have so much gold. So I'm going to have to gain a touch of inflation and drop a touch of inflation. It happens. I need to get north to prepare myself. That's very unfortunate for my vassal that they ended up occupied. But we'll be able to knock gold node out of this. They're not a co-belligerent, so I should get rid of any of their, va their allies who are going to cause me issues. I don't think that Uzbek are high on the list of people who are going to cause me issues, but in that regard, I think I'll just sit on the Golden Horde, actually. That could help me out in a big way, so I'll do just that. Let's get the better relations over time, because I risk getting coalitioned by these accursed Tartars. Are they Tartars? Nah, I see them all as Tartar. I don't think Tartar exists as a culture anymore, which is a bit sad. I'm not sure if it counts as the culture group either. Because I know my... Uh, oh no, this is the Tartar culture group. There we go. Shows that I know nothing. So Muscovy doing what they do best, which is bleeding for me on the battlefield. I of course must defend my righteous home. I don't mind attacking into forests, because they have a uh, disadvantage when engaging in such attacks. Astrakhan should fall before too long. I just hope I don't end up getting hammered by the lack of uh, infantry in my units here. Ah, hell no, we got this. Jake, has Roguelike Friday been discontinued? Yes, that's not to say there won't be any roguelikes in the future, but at least right now, Roguelike Friday is a no-go. So Muscovy is going to wrap up these guys, and we shall march on. Hopefully Kazak don't rack up too much war exhaustion, because they're going to have a lot of land to administer after this. There goes our uh, endangering clergy. Nothing to worry about. Don't know why people ever worry. What does worrying help you with? Nothing, that's what. So there we go, that sends the Chikatai packing. And once Muscovy are done with this siege, hopefully they will move on and help with others. Tolerance to the true faith minus one is not something I'm looking for. But where is Cherdin? Yes, Cherdin. I know. Oh, it's my capital. I don't think I have to worry about revolt risk in my capital. I do have to worry about local tax, though. But I'm not going to get that in other places. We'll support the good old shamans. Of course, even though we do say, oh yeah, we're Tengri co... Uh, uh, we're Tengri crossed with Orthodox, alright. Not really. Recent events have made the faithful of this province doubt the sincerity of our leader. <sighs> Unthinkable. So Golden Horde is just going to have to sit like this. Who is your favourite player in the chat? Troglodyte MP, Jake. You talking about the uh, MP for Europa? I mean, Autisticus Maximus still has a special place in my heart for what he's uh, managed to accomplish. I like them a lot. Now I should be building up a spy network over in Nogay as well, because I want to strike all of these areas. It is horrific Sunni land, which isn't terribly good for me. 
Oh, Jinx, I should probably just let the Golden Horde back in. They are, uh, unfortunately for them, very weak. Oh, speaking of awesome, there goes our, uh, our colonies. Smack down those cores straight away and keep on expanding, because I need all the power I can get. And I believe that's what we need for the ticking war score there. Yes, indeed. Most excellent. And we continue to have nothing to worry about. Jake is transitioning to 100% Fort Zombie and Act Razor. He's playing EU4 to make us feel better about it. Ah. <sighs> There are lots of little jokes I would like to make about my stream in that regard. Okay, I had a uh, horrible feeling that perhaps Golden Horde may have had cores here that would prevent me from uh, generating my own cores, but no, we do not. Or they do not, rather. Muskwee is going to chase down the remnants of those armies whilst helping me out with these, no doubt. Quit messing around and put you in your place. And defend my... Oh, jinx. Not even a fight. Come on. Bring it on. Let's maintain that diplomat there. No sense in uh, arming ourselves. or making our way up to carry, but that's okay. And with that... Okay, the... The enemy forces are here, but I'm pretty confident in Muscovy being able to trounce them. I would love to make my move on carry, but I should await some kind of reinforcements around here. Uzbek have no friends. They do have a bit of an army, though, which I should be a little cautious about. But, by the same regard, I should really be building up a better army for myself, even though I am hemorrhaging money. Shouldn't have uh, bought myself that advisor, come to think about it. But once I... Uh, Rooting out corruption isn't really saving me that, uh, isn't really costing me that much money. And looting is not giving me the dosh that I'm looking for. Perhaps I should uh, be a bit more cautious with these individuals as well. And loot a touch more. But with all the threats to the west now dealt with. Okay, Muscovy sadly now have a ruler and he is militarist. And would you look at that, he broke the rules. He was able to put uh, vital interest on provinces that are my vital interest. I just hope we don't come to blows over that. Surely you won't see them as vital interest once I uh, snatch them away. Because I want the ones with half-decent trade goods. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be taking land from the Golden Horde in this war, but still. And look at that, I can't set it as my vital interest. AI is a cheating git. What else is new, though? That truce that we have with the Uzbek is going to be over very shortly. I want to get my units in position for that one. Because I can strike the Uzbek, that'll make them and Golden Horde lose their alliance. And all will be well, hopefully. Am I really wanting to go into that? Perhaps I shouldn't worry so much. Hmm. The issue is that these are steps I'd be fighting into, and whilst I have a half decent advantage, it might not be advantage enough. And if they've got their uh, combat ability too. Still, I should be confident that Muscovy are on the rampage. And I can beat these guys up for money as well, which is one of my favourite things to do in life. I'll recall you, not doing terribly much. Jake, how are the area borders decided? There's a really big variation between development of states. Ah, it's difficult to make everything completely uh, equal. Yeah, it was based on uh, regions instead of areas. What a change that was. I want to change this as I'll get my... Uh, I'd love to have this as a full core. Make me some real money. Yeah, I mean, for example, Central Siberian is a lot more provinces than, than uh, 
Alp here. Alp's got four. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I need to think about this. Where do I want to be when attacking these fellows? Perhaps over here. Even though I'm going to be engaging with the Shagatai yet again. But once I do, I can peace out with the Golden Horde and punch the money out of them. And I do love punching money out of people. It's like a hobby of mine. And this keeps Muscovy a little bit weaker. I may want to give Muscovy a province out of this to generate a bit of favour with them. Curry favour, if you will. Since I'm not overly interested in grabbing this province here... Yeah, okay, well, it's part of the Russian region. I will have to eventually, but still. What I'm saying is getting back these favours that take me so long to generate may be for the better, even if I do fatten up my long-term enemy. Looking good. Once we get the rest of these cores, we can set this as a wonderful state. And hopefully we don't get those Nagais rising up. It's tempting to raise autonomy so I don't have to deal with them, but it's also tempting to have them rise up and my good ally Muscovy will, of course, take care of them, because he's such a good guy. Yeah, I'm just going to ram-raid these guys and spread out to take all of the Uzbek, since... Oh, well, what timing. Uzbek is almost 100% Kazakh cores, and I rather think they should become ours. Aksari, starting there. Kazak really wanting that land. Yes, Aksari seems the way to go, and to be sure, we still out-tech them comfortably. There's no point in getting this, it won't give me any advantage, because I'm not about to switch my units in a hurry. But there is something I want to try, I think. We'll make this the conquest of Aksari, sure, no reason not to. And goodbye, Golden Horde. Make our march. It's going to be taking a bit of time to get there, won't it? Now I should be able to flank these guys fully, even though we're fighting them in uh, their favourite terrain. And before the battle is over... Hmm, we could have flanked a bit better. That's a bit sad. Uh, before it's all over, I am going to grab this. And I am going to upgrade my unit types to Eastern Hussars. Doing this sets their um, their morale way down. It went down to 0 0.51, but by winning the battle, it has upped their morale all the way up. So I'm still thinking what's the best way to use such a... Exploit really isn't the word, is it? But I want that for the prestige, but... I'm thinking uh, I don't have the money to spare at the moment. Even if I will be beating up the Golden Horde. Might be good in cases where you desperately need that morale. I'm not sure. I'll have to give it some thought. It's not like I can exploit it like I used to with changing between one... Uh, oh shoot, that I don't want. There we go. Excellent, that religious unity. Up and up it goes. Soon it won't be a problem at all. Because I'll be getting a national idea that boosts it too, so corruption is on its way out where it belongs. Far, far away. Really, we've got so much um, tolerance of the heathens that it's not even too bad to have the, all this Sunni land. But that doesn't mean I'm going to have Sunni land. Let's get rid of it, because heavens no. Jake, how's the Swedish coming along? I was in Södermalm, Stockholm, a few weeks back. Love the place. Well, if you'd wanted to uh, go and grab a ludicrously expensive drink or something, you should have uh, let me know. Okay, Golden Horde, it's been fun, but I want all your money. And I don't want you having a relationship with... Okay, I don't care about Uzbek. They're going to go. Chagatai, yeah, they're still a pain. And Crimea is also a pain. And that should suffice, but I want to try something. Let's say this was Muscovy's. 
Muscovy actually wouldn't care in the slightest. Tricky. Also, I would only get a tiny amount of this money. It's almost not worth taking, since it in enlarges the truce by a fair chunk. Okay, what if I took nothing and just gave that to Muscovy? Ungrateful sods. I probably have to give him quite a bit more for that. Oh well, the important thing is Chagatai and Crimea are not your friends. It was Beck I don't care about since they're about to not exist. It's actually a pretty good one since it's only seven years in 